Hello there, guys and girls. Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 2. So here we are. Uh, let's just take the ore mine. And we have gained control of an ore mine. It will provide you with two units of ore per day. So that's great, but uh, we're still missing sulfur. Sulfur, we want sulfur. Okay, next turn. So let's, uh, let's grab the treasure chest and we want experience. So I will take the experience also from this one. Here we can learn navigation which increases our hero our hero's movement points over water. But as there is no water let's take Eagle Eye which gives us a 30% chance to learn any given third level spell or below used against our hero in combat. Let's learn that. And there is an artifact there. Also, here is one. And there is one also. But we need more units to go after, the, uh, after those artifacts, so. Yeah, what can we do? Let's fight those zombies. I should cast uh, Platlas on the strongest unit, but that would uh, be those uh, griffins. Uh, well, seven attack. Oh no, gargoyles have a better attack, but I think <laughs> that it is caused by the bloodlust uh, that was cast uh, on them. So let's just attack. And just look at the animation. I just love the animation how the zo how those uh, zombies hit back. It's like, Whoa, what did you say? <laughs> did you just bump into me? <laughs> I really love that. to uh, hit the stack that has the most units because when they hit back it will hurt uh, more than uh, when uh, a stack with one unit hits uh, you back so that's why I went for this unit not uh, one of those So there we go, a glorious victory! So I don't think it is a new week, or is it? Day 2. Probably it is, so we could probably get uh, some items from the windmill. Let's click next turn and let's try it out. Yes! The Keeper of the Mill announces, My lord, I have been working very hard to provide you with these resources. So there we go. Uh, this is a Warlock, level 1. No heroes have been slain uh, up to this point, so all heroes will be level 1. And uh, the building we want to build is the Ivory Tower, which produces Magi, but uh, we don't have the Sulfur. Five uh, units of sulfur, and uh, yeah, what can we do? I will just uh, buy the units we can buy: uh, ores, sulflings, rocks. And I will just uh, give those units to my here to my hero. So. These guys, there we 
cargo and uh, we cannot uh, buy any of those cargoes anymore so I will just put halflings uh, in that spot and let's move up north so here we took a sawmill which gives us uh, two wood pieces per day, per day. Ransacking an enemy camp, you discover a hidden cache of treasures. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, and uh, I will try to try to attack those halflings, and I have a feeling that they might uh, join us, because the halflings are the unit uh, that are com compatible with our town and heroes, so... Uh, let's say they are a native unit, and uh, those units uh, those units tend to join your hero when you uh, are att attacking them on the map. So let's try that. And here we go, followers, a group of halflings with a desire for greater glory <laughs> wish to join you. So I hope we can achieve that greater gro greater glory someday. So those magi, magi eyes are guarding an artifact, but uh, those are quite uh, tough units. Shall, shall we go for go for it or I don't know, man? Okay, let's go for it. So I think they will attack uh, those halflings, but uh, I don't have any protective spells. Dispel magic curse haste. Yes, so I could position uh, those birds. Will fly between those two guys. Maybe the, the, the other uh, griffin will come between those two guys. And we have to use the boars, but well, I don't know. normal speed and these guys have also normal speed. So let's cast uh, haste on those guys. Is that? I don't know. Let's cast haste on the boars. I think those guys will just un annihilate those halflings. 14, 16, 15 halflings perish. Oh Jesus, what the hell? I'm sorry for cursing, but so many halflings killed. What the? What was going on? I don't know. It was so many units. So many. There you go. Bad boar <laughs> with that sticker on the head. <laughs> Bad boar again. If those columns uh, would be a faster unit, I would really appreciate that, but. I guess we cannot have everything. Bad Griffin, bad! <laughs> so that wasn't uh, really that good because now the, those guys will shoot again at those halflings, at least uh, this unit. But no, 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 I will place the boars between them and now they cannot shoot anything. So there we go, 60 halflings lost. <laughs> oh man. 
But we have found this pouch. You visit an alchemist who, upon seeing your army, is swayed by the righteousness of your cause. The newly lo 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 loyal subject gives you his endless pouch of silver to help you with the war effort. So that is exactly what we were looking for. Silver. This gives us one silver per day. And with uh, the production that we have now gained, we can build that uh, ivory tower in five turns. So guys, that's uh, great. Good stuff, good stuff. Week of the rabbit. And the bit it was uh, quite a few units, so I wasn't expecting that uh, those stacks would contain seven units. But what can we do? What did I cause? Haste on the rocks! Am I crazy? Uh, I wanted to call, uh, cast haste on those columns, but <laughs> I mean, now it it's a lost cause. The train is already gone. The ship has sailed. <laughs> da, da, da. And I'm not even playing this right. Uh, I hit uh, the unit that has only two two orcs uh, in that stack, and uh, I could have gone for this one because if uh, this one shoots and we didn't weaken it, it will hurt more than uh, when uh, this unit shoots. So yeah, bad play. I will cast the haste spell now, and I will place uh, our rocks between uh, those two units, and I will grab this unit with the golems next turn. No? Then the next turn after the next turn, I guess. <laughs> okay. We did win. We did win the battle. Twenty halflings lost. <laughs> we had eighty of those guys, but we did lose every every man. So we have gained luck for our next battle. Leadership or mysticism. Mysticism regenerates four of our heroes' spell points. Leadership increases the morale by one. I don't know if these units are uh, affected by by morale. Probably they are. So let's just take leadership. I think only undead units aren't affected by morale, but uh, I. I will have to do some research on that, or when uh, we will play an Undead Hero again. Maybe we can check uh, right now if they are affected or no, or they aren't. So yeah, all wizard troops plus one, basic leadership plus one, so this affects the troops. And fairy ring visited uh, luck plus one. But I am not carrying any undead, undead troops uh, right now, so. Peasants. They wish to. The peasants. Wow! Oh, I want to fight the peasants!
so the peasants uh, they didn't really uh, have, a, have a chance. What's this? A group of halflings with a desire for greater glory! And we love this. <laughs> um, maybe we could take out those guys as well, because uh, goblins aren't a range unit, when I'm not mistaken. And uh, we could uh, gain access to that golden foundry, uh, treasure chest, campfire. But uh, all that will come in the next video, guys, because uh, I'm going to cut this video here, because we are out of time. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.